Hey everyone, it's Crystal with Vintage Booth Pro. I have six huge crates. I have no idea what's in here. These are from my aunt's estate. She passed away in 2020 after she and her husband had a lifetime of vintage shopping, antiquing, and just storing them in her house. She had a great sense of style, but I am going to go through them today and see if there's anything of value that I either want to keep for myself, put in my vintage booth, or um, donate to the thrift store. Um, so follow along and let's see what we can find. Okay, first things first, um, the estates. So she did have two estate sales um, and the company was really good about identifying everything. So we were able to get this open and found these clown salt and pepper shakers. She loves some salt and pepper shakers. Um, ooh, and another even smaller one, Mark Japan. <sighs> some beautiful little um, vases. Oh, this Star of David. I have some, oh, actually that might be something different. Um, I have so much glassware from her. She collected glassware for sure. This, I don't know. This is a little denim, just hold it in. Um, yeah, a little wagon. What would you call that? Princess House Lead Crystal Wheelbarrow. Okay, so there's some fun finds and we haven't even gotten into the boxes yet. Okay, box one is emptied. Here's what we have. Um, this very country pot. Um, it was marked from the estate sale company, $14. This Japanese vase, it says made in China, but it has Japanese markings. Um, this picture, yeah. apple cookie jar, would you say? Yeah, $14, good shape, except for this chip. This I love, this beautiful vase, $14. And this matches that couple of picture frames. And how about this beauty? Diamond point basket by Indiana Glass. Indiana Glass, she was a huge collector of that. I have so much Indiana Glass. If you know any collectors or are interested in purchasing any, please let me know. This is kind of a blue tinted vase, very pretty. Okay, next box. Okay, this may start getting a little bit too overwhelming because of the just massive amount of stuff that we have here. Um, I believe it's mostly pewter. Um, like I said, luckily everything's marked Wilton pewter. Um, I don't know where to start. There's candle holders, there's salt and pepper shakers. These are silver plated. Um, like I said, I think most of the stuff that we'll see is um, computer tons of pictures so one of my things I that I'm kind of overwhelmed with is do I put them in my booth does does stuff like this sell in booths or do I sell it online the problem with that is having somewhere to store it so I would almost rather have it in the booth. what even is this I don't know um, just so it doesn't have to be in our house because we're only on the second box. We have got a lot, a lot of stuff here. So, four more boxes. Okay, bin number three is empty. Um, my aunt was a huge Brighton fan, a little Brighton wallet. These um, vintage wallets will be easy to put on eBay. I actually sell them um, quite a bit. So people are always on the hunt for vintage leather wallets. This might be my favorite, this little brass duck. Hopalong Cassidy Thermos. I told my dad that might have been his when he was a kid. Um, uh, oh, another little one. Okay. Perfect. More salt and pepper shakers. Little doggo. Little pigs. Um, this looks like potentially stoneware. 
but I'm not sure that it is. So I have so much amber glassware, another amber bowl. Um, like I said, if you are any of the Indiana glass, amber tiara wear, I think it's called. Um, yeah, let me know. Just more um, household items here. Okay, here's box four. Um, it was a more eclectic box, I would say. These fun little candle holders that are very sophisticated reindeer. Um, a lot of Christmas items. These mugs from 1993. This little guy, we gotta put a battery in him and see if he works. Check these out. Uh, the estate sale company had this marked $40. Oh, how much have you? Oh, oh. I thought they were wine bottle stoppers, and they are. A uh, little owl, hand carved pieces, either way. More pewter, candle holders, another vase. Check this out this bar kit. Happy days with the um, wine stopper and a bottle opener. This is kind of neat. Um, I think it's a napkin holder. Just a lot of things. Collector's plate. Little basket, that's kind of cute. Red glasses. Uh, what does that say? Home essentials. So, tons of candles that have melted. Oh, something's gonna break. Lots and lots of baby cups and more. Um, so I'm trying to change I think. a lot of stuff here's where we are so far we still have two more boxes and we have a collection of grapes and fruit and things here's box number five okay here is box number five um this looks like a complete set of whatever design this is apple canister set cookie jar in this basket, um, ceramic mugs, salt and pepper shakers. These were a fun surprise. Uh, very heavy marble looking. I don't know marble. Um, I'm not sure. There are two of them, but one has been cracked. And just a couple of baskets and a jar. So a strategy that I'm probably going to use for this one is just to try to sell it on Facebook Marketplace as a set. I mean, total is probably going to be $100 is what the estate sale company was looking for, but I will be very negotiable on that. Okay, box number six. I'm so happy it's not glassware. It is vintage embroidered blankets and crocheted, handmade. I don't think my aunt made all these, but she probably purchased them. Or, um, yeah, I don't think. I'll have to ask my mom and uh, my dad. You, oh, Barbie. Oh, Lord. <laughs> she was a huge Barbie collector. She had just rooms of dolls. Scariest part of my childhood, just the rooms and rooms of dolls that um, she would have. All right. What the heck is that? $2 wood carved pirate. And... There's the other one. Oh, tablecloth. That could be. Oh, there's a Oh, we got a lot of pirates. Oh, one of these. <laughs> Interesting. Shell lantern. Hmm. I mean, it has been kind of fun. You just really do not know what you're going to find. Oh, this is a nice mug. Mom. Cracker Barrel. <laughs> And Dad, I bet it's also from Cracker Barrel. <laughs> and this glass trinket box vintage. Okay. <laughs> well, when there's just a bunch of dolls in the room, and it wasn't just Barbie, it was, was it all. Oh, you know what? My daughter has the same one. She does, doesn't she? Yeah. That's fun. Let's see. The estate sale company wanted 14 for her. So pretty. I am a proponent of taking your dolls out and playing with them. Ooh, fun little vintage ornament. Mm. So, this massive amount of just stuff. 
I will do some more organizing and show you my favorites. So nothing outrageously valuable, uh, but my favorite things would have to be the more eclectic things that um, are unique that people might be more prone to pick up and just something that you can't find anymore. This bar kit is so cute. I do love some of the vases and um, that basket bowl. So I think I will do a pewter display in my booth and put some of the things on um, Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna have to do a salt and pepper shaker display. Um, yeah, and a lot of Christmas items. So I'll add those to my booth um, as they as it is right now. And let's hope the cat doesn't ruin anything. Okay, so who wants to come over and help me organize all this? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but um, that is all for today. If you are interested in joining our community, we are at patreon.com slash vintage booth pro. It is $5 a month. You can see daily what's sold updates and um, just have a lot of fun growing your booth and getting to know fellow antique booth owners. So I'll talk to you on the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.